So while everyone hang up on those snazzy inflated type effects from my last video, I reckon they're missing out big time on the creative mojo. We shouldn't underestimate what Firefly or any other AI uh, text-to-image tool can do for typography or graphic design in general. I'm keen to show you what it's capable of. So picture this. You are creative wizard at the marketing agency and the year is 2095 where AI has taken over almost all of the human jobs and consecutively people began to engage in self-destruction such as taking drugs etc. So as a designer you are tasked with coming up with a concept for say a social ad, uh, maybe about first aid or drug helpline or spotting signs of an overdose or whatever. The headline is overdosed. So first up, you sketch out um, a rough layout in black and white, whether it's a computer or old school pen on paper or marking pen, whatever. And then you take a picture of it and save it on your computer somewhere. Um, I've done it in Illustrator here, as you can see, they're all better. And then what you do after is you go to Firefly and you tell it uh, generally to create some graphics. In the instance, um, I wrote dark red color shapes, comma, thick veins, comma, spider veins, white person's skin, hyper realistic photography. And render um, just to see what it's going to come up with. So how is your day going, all right? Everyone's well? Hope you're not thinking of doing any harm to yourself. So these are the results um, and generally you would offer you some people's faces in some stock manner, very generic and uninteresting. That's why I don't think AI will take over our job because it has no clue what to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download this image for reference just for the future use. Set up the proportions of it to, to be 16 by 9 because this is the nature of my graphic. I'm going to screenshot my graphic against white background. Make sure it's not transparent because it doesn't work that way. Um, the reference should be black and white or inverted color, very, very high contrast photography, crank up that strength trigger because what we want to tell AI is to reference our image as close as possible uh, with the natural shapes. When I chose my proportions, content type as a photo and reference, I keep the prompt as it is just to see what else can it generate in the next iteration. It generate and wait for the results. So it has given us a bit better renders, uh, which is pretty cool. It took a reference of my black and white graphics and turned it into a, some sort of a web of the veins overlaying the skin, which is a bit unrealistic, but who cares? This is a good enough. So basically, this is it. This is how you create images using Firefly reference. If you want, I have one reference here, for example, it's a bit more realistic by the veins on white person's skin. What you can do after is you can scroll down to the styles visual references and bring this reference over here. And I wouldn't crank up anything on this here or any, change any other settings because again, we're talking to AI. We want to make sure we do this step by step and do it slowly, analyzing how it works. It's really useful to see the process of its thinking and where it's going to. Well, these are essentially what I was looking for initially, uh, which are pretty, pretty, pretty realistic and really cool. So this is it. This is how you create a uh, Firefly um, referencing using your black and white uh, lettering effects. Let me know in the comments how it works for you. See you later.